Hey guys, today I am at the abandoned monastery. This whole place behind me is abandoned. There's still golden statues. There's still golden icons. There's still an organ. There's still a church. It's incredible. So yeah, let's take a look inside. Let's go. It's, it's incredible, guys. You guys are gonna love this. I was here a year ago. Some of my loyal views will remember, but I want to make a better video because, of course, now I have much more experience than a year ago. There is a old butterfly right there. Oh, oh yeah, and this is right next to a, a retirement home. So if they see us, we are we are gonna get caught. Oh, well, guys, th those are things I didn't even show you guys last time I was in this building. Because it was so big. The kitchen, guys, for all the children that were in this monastery. Mm, wow, those are big frying pans. Wow. That's incredible. I love that. I love it that I didn't... I thought I saw this whole building, but clearly I did not. Alright, guys, right now I'm going to show you guys something incredible. I am going to show you guys the church. You guys are gonna love this so much. Just... Wow. Look at this. Oh my god, guys. And like I said, there is a lot of golden statues. Uh, last time I was here, they did stole a lot since last year. I can see that a lot has been robbed. In the distance, you see the organ. Uh, I think the, the music papers are still there. Uh, and this thing, what I'm gonna show you right now, is really cool. Look at this, the golden statue still left here. Oh no, this breaks my heart because last year there was another statue right here. Um, oh my God, they stole everything guys. Guys, just take a look at this, they stole everything. Everything worth money, they took it. This hurts my feelings a lot because I loved this place last year. It was so much beautiful. It was a lot more pretty. You can check out my video from last year. It's still my channel. It is a bit shaky, guys, because I had a lot less experience back then. You gotta imagine that this was one of my first big locations I've done on my channel. Um, and since then, I've like done 80 more abandoned places since then. So I have a lot more experience now. I'm gonna show you guys really, really quietly. I'm gonna try to show you guys as much as possible. We are going to return here as well, so maybe there will be three parts. We will return here at midnight. Um, I'm here with the ghost hunters and they are going to uh, try to communicate with the ghosts. Um, of course I'm going to be with them. So we are going to go back to this church at midnight and yeah, let's do a paranormal thing. Something new on my channel, something different. I, I know you guys will like it. Wow well, guys, just take a look at this. Lucas, Jesus. And the other guy, <laughs> Johanna, sorry guys. Guys, I'm sorry for the uh, back noise, but we are, they are with a really big group, uh, the ghost hunters. But I wanna show you guys as much as possible on this part already. I thought you guys would like to see the church first. But of course, the other part I'm gonna film is gonna be really cool too, because I am gonna go all the way to the clock tower. And you guys gotta see it because last year it was amazing. It was amazing. I love this place. This was one of my favorite locations back then. I still love it. It's it's incredible. This place is called Monji. Um, and of course it is a monastery. So the nuns used to live here back in the days. And they had a lot of... Um, and they had a lot of those creepy small rooms where they lived. And what they wanted to do is they wanted to make apartments here, but as I look at this place now, um, compared to when I was here first time, it's just in such a bad shape. It's not normal. Because, yeah, just, I know the video I took here a year ago is not as good as this one probably, but you should watch it just for fun to see how much changed in this room, because... It's, it's sad, saddening for me because this place was just, it was in such a good condition. And now there is like 
Like they robbed all of those beautiful statues over there. They probably took all the golden icons that I found last year. They even ripped off the paper. They, they even digged a hole there to, to get the copper. So I think they're not gonna make any apartments here anymore. Because of the vandals and the thieves. Neymon, Neymon. If you look up there, my friends, you will see the organ. I don't think it still plays. This place is only abandoned for 15 years. Isn't that crazy? Guys? Yeah, we are gonna go up there later, maybe in part two. Maybe in this part, but... Wow. It is still a holy place. I was actually, like, six months ago, I was gonna spend the night here. And back then it was in much better condition, because my friends went here. Uh, from the other YouTube channel. But, because they are from Belgium and I'm from Netherlands, they went here. Uh, alone, without me. Which I thought was really sad, because I would love to spend the night here, but probably not anymore, because now everything is demolished, and... Now it's not healthy anymore to sleep here. Wow. Look at those glass windows. I like those a lot. Uh, and if you look at the pillars, you can see that there is like carvings in it. And the organ with the beautiful round window. It's, it's incredible, guys. It really is incredible. Hey, guys. Right now we are standing in the, in the garden. It's in the middle of this monastery. It's in the center. It's pretty cool because... You can look all around me, uh, right behind me you see a beautiful well, um, it's a pretty deep well, um, but it's, it's cool and we are going to try to climb all the way up the towers, there's still clocks, at least there were clocks last year, it's a very interesting location because a lot is still left, a lot is stolen unfortunately, but one part here at daylight and, and the last part is going to be at midnight and we're going to stay the whole night here. Um, try to get uh, contact with some ghosts because I'm here with professional ghost hunters. Standing right here, they're, they're a big group but it's gonna be fun guys, it's gonna be really fun. Really excited for it. Hey guys, uh, right now I'm on the first floor. You can see the beautiful, beautiful outside garden where we were just a minute ago. Um, this place is supposed to be really haunted because a lot of nuns lived here. Um, in those little rooms you see here, that's where the nuns lived. Um, yeah, of course, they, they were really old people and they all died here. So a lot of people have died here. <laughs> so Some say the spirits are still in this incredible big building. Um, we are going to go back here at night. Um, yeah, to try to contact with some ghosts with the professional ghost hunter, so it's gonna be really exciting. I'm also gonna try to get in all of those towers. It's really risky, but I really want to see it. And um, there's a pigeon tower as well, you see over there. Oh, yeah, it's such an incredible location. And again, guys, I'm really sorry for the back noise. You can hear them talking Dutch. I, I excuse me for that because I want to stay professional. Well, it's a really big group, and they are going to help us contact with ghosts, so it's kind of interesting. Even here you can see vandals have digged a hole to get uh, the copper out of the, of the ground. Wow, what an incredible building. Hey, you see one of the old bathrooms, guys. Yeah, this one is out of use, it says. That's funny. And a really, really, really creepy attic. I'm gonna show you guys the attic. I am not going up there because it's full of mice and rats. Also, there is a lot of dead animals in this building. Hey, you see some of the last used toilet paper it's still left here. Yeah, it's just this place just got abandoned all of a sudden, like 15 years ago, because of, there's not as many nuns as there used to be. So they ran out of money and they had to shut down. This place is slowly, slowly collapsing. As you see over there, there is a, like a big hole in the roof. Um, there's also a lot of mold on that place. That's of course because all the water coming in the building.
So yeah guys, we just entered one of the rooms of the nuns. Oh yeah, we just arrived at the organ. All the ghost hunters are here. Look at this guys. That's incredible. This gigantic organ. It's just left here. So I wonder those pipes are still there and that's not me vandalized. Hey guys, right now I'm standing in front of the old organ player, piano. Um, it's pretty cool, but it probably doesn't work anymore. No. Last time I was here, the music notes were still there. Uh, whoa. Did you hear that, guys? He touched it and all the wind still came from the organ. That's incredible that this still kind of works, maybe. Maybe if it has power, but let's take a look at this, guys. Is there... you, can still, you can still hear the wind coming out of the organ. Wow, this is incredible, guys. Look at this. That's some vintage stuff. And that's the church where we started. I am currently walking in the second floor. The other floors I did in my other part. Just take a look at how big this place is. There you see the beautiful well. Incredible this place, it really is guys. Probably gonna try to get all the way in that little tower over there. It's supposed to be in really bad shape and there's still really heavy clocks there. Yeah, you can see the old elevator here. Um, it's really interesting if you ask me. I still have not found the golden icons I found a year ago. Also, I would like to tell you guys that I am gonna return here at midnight for part 3. And we're gonna stay here overnight. And we are gonna... And we are gonna... Um, and we are gonna try to communicate with the ghost. You do not have to watch it if you are not interested in that kind of stuff, but... I am here with professionals. Um, they do this as a, as a living. They communicate with ghosts a lot. Here you see one of the old icons. This is not a gold one. There are golden ones here, or there were golden ones here, but it's still really beautiful if you ask me. That's a piece of history right here, guys. It really is a piece of history because all of those nuns had those icons here. Most of them got stolen, but some are still left. I really like those yellow curtains over here. Just look at how big this place is. Everything I saw when I was here before, um, I haven't seen now. Oh yeah guys, look at this. Wow. There you have some of the icons I was talking about. I'm not sure if those are golden ones, I don't think so. But they are original, they are original. This place should not be in the wrong hands because... There are really arrogant people in this world that take everything for money. Good thing we are not like that and we will never share places with people like that. Just look at this bath. Just imagine guys. Just go back. Just go back in time with me for a second and imagine that there were nuns laying in this bath. Looking at the icons, looking at the outside. That's a long time ago and today I stepped back in time. I really did. The old shower, not much vandalism here. Just a lot of decay, like floors collapsing, roofs collapsing, a lot of mold because of all the rain that comes in the halls. Still, there you see some old uh, paintings over there. Um, it's not really as nice as the other ones. Um, those are all rooms, like this is 23D. And like I said, this place is supposed to be really haunted, they say. Because uh, all those nuns that lived here, they were really old, most of them. Um, and they all, well, most of them died here. This was the final resting place. And what is creepy is all those long hallways. So when I return here at midnight and I'm gonna stay the night here, it is gonna be really creepy. It's such a shame that people took so many stuff and there's the old bathroom 
and I'm gonna go up one floor higher guys and uh, let's see how far we get to the tower then yeah guys right now we are on a really high floor this is the most dangerous part yet the higher we get the more dangerous it is there is a lot of holes here the floor is just really bad I'm really creepy at it it's not safe to walk here uh, we have to get even higher I think the most important nuns lift here uh, higher up uh, I believe they had rankings is that blood? I'm not sure looks like blood blood or coffee that's creepy oh guys I'm on the attic and what the hell is this? oh my god is that a nest? wow holy shit what is that? Those are rotten planks. Oh, it is not smart to walk there. Is this the clocks? It is so warm here. When you're walking now, um, if I fall down here, I die. But there is a door over there that uh, kind of caught my attention because I never went there. This is, this is gonna be... It's not smart. This whole thing is shaking when I walk. There's holes in the roof. Guys, I can't. I, I'm sorry. I can just hear the floor creaking. You can probably hear it on the camera. But who knows, maybe I can return here someday on the channel when we're bigger and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cross that no entrance it's set. I'm gonna go down so you guys wanna see something cool. Hey guys, I just found a really cool area, a really big area. A place I never found before because I have been here a couple of times. Um, and I found a secret door. Um, that's weird. Can I see this guys? This is a secret door. Look, this used to be the same color as this. And this used to be the same color as that. So it just looked like a wall, but it is a door. We are definitely gonna go in there. Let's go. So yeah guys, this is the last room. There is like a really cool kitchen over here. It's cool because I never seen this. This is the last room here. There's a really cool air conditioning over there. It does look kind of vintage, so I like it. It's, it's not that old, but it's pretty old. It's from the 80s, from the 70s, I think. It's, uh, it has recent damage done to the building. You can see the stone still. It's a shame. I do not get why people demolish stuff. I don't just don't get it. Guys, um, I'm currently standing in one of the clothing rooms. Um, this is where all the nuns had their outfits. Um, yeah, they they wore they wore like those robes. You know what you always see in churches. Um, this place feels really positive. I'm not sure why, but it is a really positive room. Usually, I have really negative rooms, but I don't know. This one feels really nice. I like it. Um, yeah guys, I'm currently standing in the old, uh, the main entrance from a long time ago and I want to show you guys this beautiful picture of this building. This is the building we are in right now. It's pretty impressive. Wow. So this is, this is right here is where we took the intro. And this is where we went in. And I probably have not seen everything of this building yet. So yeah guys, this was part one. Um, when I come back here next week, I'm gonna go to the clocks very high in the towers. Uh, we're gonna look at some really cool things upstairs. Maybe we can find the golden icons as well. So definitely watch it. And yeah, see you guys next week for a brand new video. Bye bye.